How to blow out RV water lines with an air compressor. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to see me get cold. No, wait a minute. You're not gonna see me get cold. It's about to get cold. So what we're gonna do today is show you how to blow out the RV water lines with an air compressor. Doesn't seem like too much of a challenge, but it's something that you really want to do. Now here in Texas, I don't have to do a full winterization primarily because I'm going back out camping next weekend. So I just got three days that I got to get through without any damage. And then I'm going to be back out using the RV. So pretty much all I ever do when I'm winterizing my RV is to blow out the water lines with the air compressor. I drain the whole system and then blow that out. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get to it. We got to go inside. Before we really start into the process of how to blow out how to blow out RV water lines with an air compressor, the first thing we want to do is, is get the water out of the system using gravity. And the very first thing we need to do is drain our, our main water tank. Now my, our main water tank is under the master bed and there's, there's this big conglomeration of stuff. To drain this, we need to open the valve, which is right here. And we're just gonna open that all the way up. And now the water's draining out. draining out of the big tank. All right, now that we're now that we are draining the the main fresh the fresh now that we're draining the fresh water tank, we can close the slide. So let me close the slide and I'll cut back in with what we do next. The next thing that we need to do before we actually start the blowing out the water lines with an air compressor process is to open all of our low point drains. I have several. And in this compartment, we have a cold and a hot water low point drain. In our wet bay, this is considered a low point drain. So we're going to open that up. And now we have one more, and it's a bit of a challenge to get to. My last low point drain is actually in here. Now this was, you know, where the sink was and I have since put in the, the tray. I put in my catch-all. But down here, underneath, 
way in there. There's two. Now, when the sink was in here, when the sink was in here, you had to go through this little door to get to that. That's a real pain in the butt, let me tell you. So we're gonna open, open that as a low point drain also. Now that we've got our low points open, we're ready to turn on, we're, we're ready to hook up the air compressor. To do that, I need power, because I'm going to use the, the shop air compressor for one very important reason, and that is I can set my output pressure so I don't blow out my lines. All right, let me fire up the generator and we'll get the compressor set up. I have the air compressor set up. You can hear the, 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 the quiet diesel generator. That's what it's called. It's a QD generator. Love that thing. All right. The only unusual piece of equipment we need for this project is the connection to the water so we can blow air into the water lines. I made this years ago, the very first trailer that the very first rv that we owned I, I put this together you can actually buy that buy you can actually buy one on amazon i'll put a i will put a link in the card right up there now i'm an amazon affiliate and i do earn a little bit of money if you click on that link and make a purchase it does go to help the channel so i appreciate that so we're going to put this into our city water connection here All right, we're gonna make sure our output pressure is 50 pounds or less. And that's important because your RV system is a, it's a, it's a lower pressure system. You don't wanna pump 100 PSI in there because you can blow out all your lines and, and then you've defeated the purpose. You might as well have left the water in the line. So next, before I connect, I'm gonna close some of my low point drains and the reason i'm closing some of the low point drains is i want i want to focus that air pressure to each individual outlet point in the system kicks on to, to keep up water line so now I, we don't have a, a tank water heater we have a, a tankless system so I don't need to drain the water tank but I am going to ooh, that's on. I'm gonna make sure you turn it if you have a tank water heater, make sure you turn that off before you start the process. One thing you always want to remember when you're flushing the lines is your water filtration, your water filter. So if you have an onboard water filter, make sure you open that up and pour the water out. Otherwise, it could freeze and crack. The next thing we're going to do is individually turn on each faucet.
So we're gonna recharge the lines with the air compressor and then go around and individually open each faucet. kitchen sink is blowing. It's hot and cold. Just a little bit. We'll let that sit for a minute. And then we will do bathroom. Cold and hot. And then shower. drop the handheld sprayers down and, and I when I store the coats those will be hanging that way there's no water we don't want water collecting in that line couple more rounds Pressure's a little bit noisy.
means blowing out the water lines on the RV with an air compressor. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I lost my closing footage. So I'm, I'm back at RV home base. Cold front is imminent. You can see the trees blowing. Of course, you, you probably can't see them. Wind is blowing pretty hard. Anyway, it's gonna get cold tonight. I'm glad I took care of blowing out the lines on the RV so I don't have to be laying in bed worrying about broken, frozen pipes in the motorhome. Cause I'm gonna be using it next weekend. Got a new one. Got, got, got a fun one to go check out. If you found my video about blowing out the water lines with an air compressor, I would, oh, if that helped you out, please give me one of those thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd be truly honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button down there and remember to hit that bell as well so you don't miss another video. Man, I've been uploading three videos a week for, for over a year. <laughs> Mind blowing. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button down there. And for those of you who have been following along, I see the light. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. That's why I do what I do. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?